Wisa Technologies is a leading provider of immersive wireless sound technology for intelligent devices and next generation home entertainment systems. And with me is Brett Moyer, the CEO, to talk about Wisa and what you've been doing. And I guess bring me up to date. What's the latest with Wisa and what have you been working on this year? Yeah, good morning, by the way. Yeah. And thanks for having Great me. Great to have you here. Right. So Wisa is in the middle of launching a whole next generation of technology from the last time we talked. And it's, uh, we've taken all the IP that was in a custom silicon and may turn it into software. So this morning, for example, we licensed, we announced that that software was going to be demoing and showing at CES on a Hisense TV, on one of their 2024 TVs. So now a TV can directly speak to and transmit wire audio to wireless speakers in the room or sound bars, right? And this is a big improvement in the technology. It reduced the cost by 75%. It increases the application because the same software can ultimately be put onto cell phones or tablets, sound bars, set-top boxes, and TVs. So the first thing I want to ask is how does this, what does this mean for the consumer? Uh, for the consumer, it means they have, so if you look at audio, there's Dolby Atmos, which is the most prevalent three-dimensional brand. So when you see a, a Netflix movie with Dolby Atmos, that means the audio also has a channel for elevated audio, so above you, so planes will actually sound like they're coming from above you. Gunfire can be behind you, you know, just like the movie theater, right? When you go there, you hear stuff above you, behind you, to the side of you. So Dolby Atmos gives the consumer the ability to do it. We now deliver that signal from the TV or the tablet to the speakers. So you can have that three-dimensional audio in your room. Okay. So just like a real movie experience yep. in your home. And it's a simple setup, right? Okay. There's no more putting speakers in ceilings or pulling wires. You're going to plug whatever number of speakers you have in the room into the wall outlet. Everything's wireless. Everything's wireless. wireless. That's it. Okay. So then we know the consumer. What about the business? Because you mentioned the software licensing. That must be a significant change. Yeah. So it's a big change for us, right? So we announced in October that we would actually give licenses to the Weiss Association members that have TVs for free from now until the end of the year. And we said there's seven TV brands that are actually reviewing those contracts now, right? So we think by giving it to the TVs who are very cost sensitive, we, we seed the market in a, in a large volume way ultimately, which then creates the market for sound bars and speakers. Now from a, from a consumer perspective, you currently have to plug your soundbar into the TV through an HDMI cable. You don't know it, but you're paying Dolby royalty, you're paying for an SOC in that soundbar. When you go wireless, you use all the electronics in the TV and you just send audio to speakers in the soundbar. So it's gonna reduce their costs. So that's where the 75% cost savings comes from. Yeah, you ours don't have is all going these down royalties. 75%, but the soundbar is gonna go down too. <laughs> okay. Yep. That'll get passed on. Yep. And you mentioned CES. What do you um, plan to have there? Uh, so we have two showrooms at CES. Um, it's a big show for us because all the Asian decision makers come into one city. So it'll be very busy. But we announced this morning the Hisense one. We announced the set-top box um, three days ago. We announced the first licensing deal about a week and a half ago. So you'll see that plus some other unannounced activities coming up at CES. Okay. Which is January 8th. It's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. very quick. It's yeah. right after the new year. It was remember because it right comes up so quickly. Year. Um, how can consumers find these products? How can they buy these products? So the current generation, Wisa HT, is in products like Bang & Olufsen, um, Platin Audio, so you can go to their websites and find them. It'll say Wisa certified or Wisa HT as a wireless spec. Um, but if you're the consumers looking at what's coming, they can go to wisatechnologies.com, and we always have the new technologies and new partners on that site. Now, are you doing anything with, say, 5G, like the next generation, or virtual reality, or any kind of these new technologies that are down so, the pipeline? In the next 18 months, no. Okay. Right? We're all focused on getting the IP that was in custom chips into and licensed to the TV guys and the soundbar guys. And then we'll look at expanding from there. But really, all we need is an Android operating system. So that could be a phone or a TV, right? And then our IP can go and transmit it. 
Okay. And where do you see technology and home entertainment going in the future? Well, I think it's actually pretty exciting how Dolby particularly has created the three-dimensional audio channels. Because when you sit and hear a real demo with it, it's mind-blowing. So like Platin Audio has a, the first sound bar with our wireless technology in it. And that's selling this week at 599 but that literally has four up firing speakers in addition to all the other speakers, right? And it goes up to the ceiling and you feel like you're right in the middle of that action. And all you did was plug in a few speakers and a sound bar. <laughs> so, and that's available now. That's like available now, that, it's yeah. the first one, but I think that's what's exciting for the consumer. That whole audio experience is gonna explode in the next 24 months. Wow, okay, well, thank you so much for coming back in and updating us and yep. good luck at CES. Thank you. Okay. Come Thank see you. us. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs>